Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm glad you're here. Today I'll be swatching with my beautiful Fumui mop brush, my extra fine Daniel Smith watercolours in my Indigo by Artway journal that I purchased on Amazon. The first swatches I made in my book were mixing with some buff titanium and then with some lunar black. Last time I made red, yellow and pink swatches. Today I'm going to be doing green and blue swatches. The first colour I'm swatching out is phthalo green blue shade. It is high staining, transparent and non-granulating. These are my favourite blue and green colours in the Daniel Smith range. The next colour is cobalt turquoise. This is a granulating colour. It is non-staining and rates 1 out of 4, where 1 is no staining, 2 is low staining, 3 is medium staining and 4 is high staining. So it ranks 1 at non-staining. It is semi-transparent. The next colour is Thalo Blue Green Shade. And this is a transparent colour. It is high staining at four. And it is non-granulating. The next colour I'm swatching is Cerulean Blue Chromium. This is a granulating colour. It ranks low on the staining spectrum at two out of four, and it is semi-transparent. The next colour I'm swatching is Ultramarine Blue. This is a granulating colour. It ranks three out of four for medium staining and it is transparent. The next colour I'm swatching is Jane's Grey. Jane's Grey is a granulating colour. It ranks two out of four on the staining scale at low staining and it is semi-transparent. The next colour is Undersea Green. Undersea Green is a granulating colour. It ranks three out of four on the staining scale at medium staining and it is semi-transparent. You can see I have two water jars and I'm going to use that water jar on the right for my green colours. The next colour is Perylene Green which is non-granulating. It ranks three out of four on the staining scale at medium staining, and it is semi-transparent.
The next colour is Sap Green, which is a granulating colour. It ranks three out of four on the staining scale as medium staining, and it is transparent. The next colour is green gold. Green gold ranks three out of four on the staining scale. It is non-granulating and it is transparent. One of my favourite colour combinations is green gold paired with Aussie red gold. I think they make just such a great match together. The next colour is Duochrome Oceanic. Duochrome colours have one pigment that bounces between two colours, so they're quite shimmery. Duochrome Oceanic is granulating, ranks one on a scale of one to four at non-staining and is transparent and luminescent. The next colour is duochrome turquoise. And again, another duochrome colour, it's quite shiny. It's granulating, ranks one on the staining scale and is transparent. The next colour is indigo. Indigo is non-granulating. It ranks three out of four on the staining spectrum at medium high, and it is transparent. The next color is Mayan Blue Genuine, which is one of the Primatec colors. Primatec watercolor are unique colors made from authentic mineral pigment. And Mayan Blue Genuine is granulating it ranks two out of four on the staining scale and is transparent. And the next color is Moon Glow. Moon Glow is a granulating color. It ranks two out of four on the staining spectrum at low staining and is transparent. And I'm going to pop some music on now so you can watch this paint dry literally because as it dries the colors will lighten slightly and you'll see that granulation developing. I'll also give you some close-ups of the colour towards the end of the video. For now, I'm going to be writing the names on them and I'll catch you at the end of the video.
thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below and let me know which are your favourite blues and greens in the Daniel Smith range. Bye for now.